Welcome to a brand new season of Nigeria's former science competition. My name is Ali Abdoyim and I'm ready to spar. My name is Jubi Doku and I'm ready to spar. Now is your time to spar. The dream behind InterSwitch Spark. At InterSwitch, we have a vision. Um, our vision is a prosperous Africa that is driven by the seamless exchange of um, commerce and value. Um, we believe that that future will come about through technology and innovation. For us, the journey towards trying to build that future started more, almost 20 years ago. But in 2018, we decided that it was necessary to build the next generation of young Africans who will study technology, engineering and mathematics and drive the technology innovation that will shape the future not only of Nigeria, but for the whole of Africa. So for us at InterSwitch, uh, we've seen firsthand the transformative potential of technology and indeed the STEM you know, concepts. When you hear names like Michel Elegbe, Akim Lawal, who are visionaries behind the vision that has become InterSwitch, you know, these are guys who studied engineering, but beyond that also you know, latched onto STEM as a platform to be able to transform you know, a society. So for us, we identify with the, you know, um, realization that young people in Africa need to be able to compete locally um, and effect change and also compete globally. So they, are, they, they will need to be able to drive, you know, change within their economy, but also be globally competitive. I, I think COVID-19 has shown that uh, we need to take, you know, a global view and Based on this realization, InterSwitch has invested you know, over the last four years into this initiative, not only in Nigeria, but um, in Kenya as well. So for us, it's a Pan-African vision, and you know, we think it will only get better from here. We believe um, at InterSwitch that today is being shaped by technology, and the future will also be shaped by technology. Unfortunately, if you look at um, our educational system today, the number of children who are actually studying science, technology, engineering, or mathematics is low compared to the gap that exists in what this country or this continent needs. We believe that if technology is going to drive the future, we need to build um, an educational system that promotes STEM. So for us, STEM is absolutely crucial um, in the future of Africa that we see. So it is worth giving credit to the Federal Ministry of Education who are also the supervisory ministry for the National Examinations Council, NECO. So um, I would highlight the role of the Federal Ministry of Education, NECO, and again, the Lagos State you know, Government and Ministry of Education, because that's the um, primary constituency where we hold industry spark. And then, of course, we work with a number of um, private institutions, schools as well, who offer up their candidates to feature in the initiative. So yes, these are some examples of the you know, partners we have worked with in rolling out Spark. A better Nigeria will be one in which Ni Nigeria develops its own technology. It's the one in which we have research and innovation that solves the problems that we have. It's the one in which the problems that we have find solutions in the innovative and creative spirit of our young talent. It's the one in which the outcome of that innovation creates jobs, creates opportunities, creates value, uh, not only for the people who have come up with the innovation, but for the people who use it. Um, for us, that is the future. That is what we believe um, a great Nigeria would look like. So, InterSwitch Spark is a multi-level initiative it typically starts with 20 something thousand odd you know ss2 students across nigeria you know across the length and breadth of nigeria getting into a national qualifying exams typically around april may um you know june um this year in particular for industry spark 3.0 you know covid 19 presented a challenge and in spite of the fact that we took the exams online you know, we still had very decent participation of at least 18,000 students, you know. So following that national qualifying exams, we then shortlist 81 of the top performing candidates. Now, it's worth highlighting that to ensure the inclusion of young women, young girls, you know, because, I mean, in our environment, you know, um, you tend to find that the guys 
dominate this sphere of um, endeavor. Not because the, the young women are not you know, capable or don't have the capacity, but sometimes you, know, you just need to effect that affirmative action to ensure you get participation from women. So at the qualifying stage for the national qualifying exams, we mandate that each school has at least two girls in the six that you know they put forward for the um, exams it could be more than two but at least we ensure that we have two girls you know just to ensure we can also encourage um, that gender to participate so for industry spark 3.0 we had uh, 18,000 people compete at national qualifying exams which was whittled down to 81 who went into the preliminary stage of the national science competition. And from the 81, you know, we had 27 who went into the semifinals, keenly con contested, and um, you know, today we're having nine finalists who are competing for bragging rights as the best science student in Nigeria. Um, as someone who also studied engineering um, in school, um, I think my first advice is if you are inclined to a STEM, um, do not be afraid to pursue your dream. Do not be afraid to pursue your pas passion. Um, do not be afraid to express your creativity. Do not be afraid to unleash your innovation on the, on the problems that faces Nigeria today.